But first, the local family marking a major milestone today after a brutal attack that shocked Tampa Bay. It was 15 years ago today that Queen of Fu's life changed forever. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay at 5.30. I'm Josh Sidorowitz. And I'm Courtney Robinson. She was attacked and left for dead outside of the Bloomingdale Library. And tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Megan Myers caught up with her sister as Queena continues her lifetime of recovery. Happy birthday. Queena Fu celebrated her 33rd birthday on Saturday. For the last 15 years, it's always been an emotional day. Two days after marks the day Queena was attacked. The night of April 24th, 2008, Queena was dropping off books at the library. There was a man sitting on a bench at the library who proceeded to attack her and sexually assault her. A random attack left her with a traumatic brain injury, impacting her ability to speak, walk, talk, and see. Queena's mom quit her job to be her full-time caretaker. Her sister Anna also helps as much as she can. 15 years sounds, I know it sounds like a long time, but it's felt even longer. Anna says Queena's recovery has been slow. She's been able to take a few steps with help and has made some noises. That in itself is something we celebrate, though it may not look like big progress from the outside, but it's still an indication that the brain is still healing. The family says they have found light in sharing Queena's story, meeting other people who are fighting their own battles, inspiring them to keep going as they continue to keep moving forward themselves. And of course, we're holding out hope and faith that perhaps there may be a miracle waiting. Megan Myers, 10 Tampa Bay. She and her family are an inspiration, I think, for all of us. And I want you to know that Queen's attacker, Kendrick Morris, he is currently serving life in prison.